Hi and welcome to Intersoft Solutions video tutorial. My name is Nicholas Lee. In this video, I will show you how to build a simple tip calculator that demonstrates the data binding features in CrossLight. Our simple tip calculator will run on multiple platforms using a single code base. In the view of our simple tip calculator, we will have three input text boxes the bill amount, tip percentage, and number of people. We will also have three output labels, the tip amount, which is calculated by the bill amount times tips percentage and divided by 100, the total payment, the bill amount plus the tip amount, and the total per person, which is total payment divided by the number of people. We'll first create the simple tip calculator for the Android platform first, then we'll move on to other platforms as well. I'm assuming that you have your PC set up and fully ready for cross-site development. If your PC is not ready yet, check out our videos on the YouTube channel on how to prepare your PC or Mac for cross-site development. I have created a blank project using the cross-site project wizard. You can find our source code here for this project in our GitHub link at the end of this video or in the description below. The main entry point for cross applications is the app service which is located in the shared project. By setting the root view model here This will instruct a cross light framework which view model to use when the application is launched for the first time. In this case, the simple view model. In the Android project, this means that the simple activity will be our first activity that is shown after the launch activity, which is the main launcher for the application. The launch activity itself only shows the splash screen which will then redirect you to the simple activity. From the blank project, I've only edited three files from the application. The simple view model, the simple mining provider, and the main layout. Let's, let's check out the view first. I have used Android Studio to help me in creating the design for the view as you can preview it live side by side and lost multiple previews when editing the view files. You can then copy paste the XML here to the XML file in Visual Studio. I'm not going to cover the Android Studio in depth, but it's a nice tool to use when editing the view files. The layout here can use some improvements such as moving the strings here to a separate XML file on the various folder, but I'm not going to do that here since this is just to show you a quick demo. One thing to note is the IDs I've assigned to each of the views. I will cover that in just a few moments. So basically, I have three text boxes here, a button, and the three labels that will need to be bound to the view model. The three text boxes will accept inputs, whereas the three labels will show the result of the calculation after the button is pressed. After we have finished creating the view, let's check out the view model. This is the heart of the view. In the view model, I have seven properties to correspond to the views I've created earlier. For the three text boxes, I have bill text, people text, and tip text. For the output labels, I have tip amount, total amount, and total per person. 
not forgetting a delegate command that will be bound to the button which will execute the command when the button is pressed in the constructor itself I have three labels filled within values by default and also a delegate command that will be executed this calculate tip command here will execute the calculate tip method here which will then reflect directly to the view we have one more thing to check out before running this project going back to the activity we have the binding provider the binding provider contains contracts that binds the view to the view model here we have the text bill bound to the build text property in the view model using a two-way binding mode the text tip to the tip text text people to the people text and so on these text bill text tip and text people are the IDs we have assigned to our views earlier in our view XML definition here you should see here this is these are the IDs you can also customize the binding behavior by defining a new binding description as shown here you can customize the string format converter converter parameter and and so on. In Crosslight, we have introduced several binding adapters for both Android and iOS platforms to support common views by default, such as UI label for iOS, text view for Android, UI text box and edit text, UI date picker and date picker dialog, and much more. You can find a complete list of MVVM enabled views in our online as well as offline documentation. You can also create your own binding adapters for custom controls as well. We will cover that in a separate video that covers cross light advanced topics. So let's run the project. So this ends the Android project. Let's move on to iOS. I have brought the previous project from Windows to the Mac and opened the solution in Xamarin Studio. Note that the solution and CS project files are fully compatible between Mac and Windows. In the iOS project, you will only need to edit the view controller which is the simple tip view controller let's check it out the definition for the view controller looks pretty much the same for android i have enabled a nifty feature that hides the keyboard on a simple tab outside the keyboard area since the body providers are fully shareable between Android and iOS, I only need to create the view for the iOS app. Let's open the zip file. Here, I have assigned the outlets to match the IDs defined in the binding provider. I haven't handled the auto sizing for this zip file yet. However, Let's save this and try to run the project.
This ends the IOS section. Let's move on to the Windows Phone project. In the Windows Phone project, you will only need to create the XAML file that acts as the view and directly bind them to the properties of the view model. At the code behind, you will only need to specify the view model type attribute that corresponds to the view model. We will not be using any binding providers for Windows Phone as it supports native binding by default. Let's run this project to see how it goes. This ends the Windows Phone section. Let's move on to Windows 8 project. Same goes with Windows 8. You will only need to create the XAML file that acts as the view and bind the views to the properties in the view model. One, di one difference is that we need to specify converter as Windows 8 supports only string by default for two-way binding mode. Similarly, at the code behind, we will only have view model type attribute that relates this view to the view model. Let's run this project. So, as you can see, if you have finished a cross site project for a certain platform, let's say Android, you can easily bring it to other platforms in a very short time. In this video, I have shown you how to build a cross-platform simple tip calculator app using CrossLight. In the next video, I will highlight the form builder feature of CrossLight to build a simple registration form for Android, iOS, and Windows Phone using the form metadata. If you need more information, drop us a mail at technical at intersoftbt.com. You can find discussions related to Crosslight and Mobile Studio in our forums at intersoftpt.com slash community slash crosslight. You can find the source code for this app at our github at github.com slash intersoft solutions slash crosslight simple tip calculator. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.